Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the material editor to create material files for Fallout 4. These will be required for the NIF files to not crash your game anytime you start it up and it tries to load the models. We'll start out by downloading and installing it. There will be a link down in the description to make it easier to find the page. Once you've loaded it up on the Nexus, you'll open up the Files tab. And this is a manual download. You cannot use the Download Manager. We hit Download. It'll pop up and ask for a donation. If you have money to spare, be all, by all means, go ahead. Then it'll choose where we're going to download. Now I've already downloaded the file once, but I'm going to do it again, creating a new file. Uh, this will be put in my desktop area. I'm going to go ahead and save. Um, go ahead and open it up. And I already have the folder where I'm going to be using it here uh, as a Fallout 4 tutorials. I'll delete that one since I don't want it anymore. And we'll just drag it out. We can go ahead and close our zip tool. Uh, from here we're going to go ahead and associate the files because if I double click it, it doesn't open up uh, anything right now. So to do that, we're going to right click on it, go to open with, choose another app, and here you'll notice I have the box checked always use this app to open the .bgsm files Then we'll choose more apps scroll all the way down to look for another app on this PC uh, the default path is going to give us our program files I have a nice little shortcut which gets me most of the way there right here uh, otherwise you'll need to navigate and find wherever your installation path is going to be in this case I have the file right here. So I'll double click and it automatically opens up the one that I right clicked on. Uh, now this is a file from the vanilla assets. I extracted this using the BAE tools. Uh, there will be a link for that down below as well as a video for Nidus's, uh tutorial on how to install that and extract it all and everything. Uh, from there uh, we can look at the existing file that's here and I'll be detailing about what some of these do and how to set them up and what goes where. For now we're going to go ahead and close that down. So now we've installed it and we have some files that we can actually open up and check it out. Uh, for the mod I'm going to be using for detailing this out and testing uh, is going to be the tactical armor from Ref Lettuce. Uh, I actually created some files for it already but right now I have an empty materials area. And we're going to be creating that to go along with these textures right here. So we have the armor uh, diffuse, the glow, the normal, and then the specular. We then have the body suits diffuse, normal, specular. And we have the glove uh, diffuse, normal, and specular. Um, you notice that the armor here has a glow. I will explain what that is and how that works. So I'm going to go ahead and back up and we're going to open up the material editor and get started. Uh, if you have an existing one that you're making copies from, by all means go ahead and use it. If you're starting fresh, we're going to start with the new one so you can learn how to do it. So we'll go to File and New. I'm going to skip right to the Material tab because I don't need to mess with any of the settings that are on the front page here right now. Uh, from there we're going to go find our Textures folder. And we're going to start with, we'll do the Tactical Armor. So we're going to need the entire path to the Diffuse file and we do not include the textures folder. Uh, I've seen some people include it, it's not needed, and some tools don't like it. Uh, I like to always flip the backslashes to forward slashes. Uh, that's how they are in the Bethesda files, and I just like to keep everything very um, conformed. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then the next one we're going to have is going to be the glow file. and that will go here under the glow texture. Next one is going to be our normal map. And then the last one for this section is going to be our specular. Now since I am doing a glow texture there's a couple little things that I need to change. Uh, first is I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to tell it that we cast shadows because the, the regular armor does and then we're also going to go ahead and check this part where it says glow map that is very important uh, otherwise it will not glow the next thing that we need to do uh, is change our emittance enabled 
to we have to turn that on. What that does is anything that's in our glow map, which let me load it up here, you'll notice that parts of it are bright white. The emittance enabled is going to affect those bright white areas. Uh, the lighter the color, the more intense it's going to be. The darker, in this case the black, is going to be off. Uh, I'm going to change our color. We're going to end up using, uh, let's do a green. I like green right now. That's a good color. And the emittance of multiplier, I believe, is like an intensity. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave it one. Um, once I get this all set up, and I, I'll show you guys what it looks like in game. Uh, this one, since it does have a specular map, we're going to go ahead and specular enable that. Uh, we'll leave it white because we'll probably have a white uh, kind of reflection effect on it. And that's pretty much it for that. Uh, if you have an alpha, uh, you'll go ahead and change the alpha test and check that. This particular file does not, so I'm not going to be messing with that. From there, we do a file, save as, uh, and that is not where I want it to go. So I'm going to go back to my uh, tutorials folder, and in here I have a data and my materials, and I've already created the folders where it's going to end up going. For this one, I'm going to call it tactical. Uh, this was the armor, and save that. Uh, then we just repeat that for the others. Now, since I have something as a base to start from. I'm going to go ahead and use that over again. Whoops, and I did screw that up. I forgot to fill the V's uh, backslash it to forward. Let me do that really quick. And then we will resave it. Uh, okay, so now, since I already have those, and I'm going to be basically using this as a template to do the other two, uh, we're going to go ahead and do the body really quick. Um, so we're going to change that name, and then we're going to do the normal map, and the specular. Now this one does not have a glow texture, so we're going to take that off, and we're going to uncheck the emittance, and turn off the glow map. As long as the emittance is not on, what color and multiplier it has is irrelevant, it will not be used. If it bugs you, you can set it back to white. I don't worry about it. So then we're going to go save as, and we're going to give it another name. So this one is going to be the body. And then the last one is going to be our gloves. So we'll scroll back up. Oops. And we have a normal map. And we have our specular map. And then we save as, and this will be our gloves. So now we've got our three uh, material files, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to go detail a little bit about the NIF files, uh, just to give you guys some information there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load up our regular bodysuit. Uh, I'm actually going to move that out to the side here. I'm not sure why it's coming up with partially not loaded. There we go. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, so in here, uh, there's three different uh, meshes. We have our skin, our actual bodysuit, and then we have the actual armor. Let um, me extend those three. So in the NIF, under the BS Lighting Shader property, it will require that you put in under the name field, it's a text area, with the path to the material file. So it will be the materials folder, and this is important, it does have to have be backslashes, forward slashes, do not work here. Uh, materials folder, backslash, and then the path to where the file will be. And this is relative to the data path. So in my case, I'm going to be using data, materials, Ralph Edis, tactical, and then the name of the material file. So for the, the bodysuit, oops, messed that up. Uh, we have the materials, Ralph Edis, tactical, tactical-body.bgsm, which is the same name I used over here. I already had the NIF edited to make that uh, work before. So then we come down to our armor piece, which is going to be this piece right here. And that one shows that it's the same path with the file tactical-armor.bgsm. So that's this one right here. 
Then the other one is our hands, which actually is more appropriately the arms, with the hands cut off. But anyway, uh, we have the BS Lighting Shader property. Uh, that one is going to have our name field being the base human female skin, which is this is the vanilla path uh, for the file that's in there. If you use any kind of body mods, it automatically uh, puts it in the right spot for that. And that way it'll use whatever body skin you're using. If for some reason you wanted to use your own custom uh, actual skin color, it might look a little funny if you don't have forced gloves. Uh, so if it's used some vanilla hands, your skin colors might mismatch. I'll let you guys play with that and figure out what you want to do there. Uh, once you've got those set up, you can save. That's all you need to do for setting up your NIF uh, to be able to use those material files. Uh, from there, we can then just put it into our game data folder, which I've already opened up here. So we'll go into materials. Um, I already have a folder here for it, but I'm just going to overwrite it. We'll just drag that over. And it copies in. So now if I go look, I have the three files there. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next one, I'm going to be detailing how to create a uh, basic armor plugin, which will show you how to actually use this model in the game. See you then.